Welcome to the newest model home built by Cambridge Custom Homes. So Cambridge Homes, they build custom homes all over Metro Detroit, Michigan, and they can build you one of these on your lot if you would like them to. Now again, they are a fully custom home builder, but this home in particular is one of my favorite homes in the area. I like it so much, I actually had CBS interviewed me here when given the chance because I just love it. I love everything they've done here. Walking around the outside of this place, I love the mixed use of material. I like the stone and the wood, the black windows and trim, all of the dark accents, and I love the lines. I love the, the angular look to this entire build. All right, so right when we walk in the door here, we have, check out this entryway first. There are 14 foot ceilings here. So there's 14 foot ceilings and then you're gonna have 13 foot ceilings back there. Um, and you can see how big those windows are. Now those windows back there are 11 feet tall and 21 feet wide. We'll get back there, but when you walk in the door here, we have this office space here. I like this a lot. So I like this black trim, these windows here. So you've got this office space. I, I, I would love an office like this. You know what you think. Some people like their offices way back in the back of the house. I kind of like to be able to look out front, but again, with this house, the way that this floor plan is, your windows are amazing back here, so you have to check that out. We have our stairs to the basement. If you're not from Michigan, you've never been in a basement, this is probably one of the best basements I've ever been in, so you're gonna have to check that out. You have bedroom number one here. So this house actually has two bedrooms on the main floor and four bedrooms below. Now there is 3,500 square feet of finished space up here, another 3,500 square feet in the basement, but only 3,000 of it, only 3,000 of it is finished. Check out these floors here. That's really cool. And these, this floating cabinet here. So you have a walk-in closet. So this would be sort of like a guest suite. Check out this tile work. I love it. Let me know what you think. All right, so from here, so again, looking out to the front of the house. I'm gonna swoop around. We have a closet here. Some nice built-ins. You have the half bath right off the front. I love to use the hardwood floors in here. And again, another floating cabinet with the underlighting. So when you wake up in the middle of the night, look at this place. Now, if you wanted to build something like this, they could build it on your lot. You build this exact same house. Look at that little seating area. I like that they have these three big windows. Now these windows don't open, but it's just nice, right? So you've got this area here. Check out this kitchen. Look at all that seating. We're gonna go back into here in just a second. So you have a little workstation in there. You have access to the garage. You know how you feel about this house. Again, this is one of my favorite floor plans I think that I've been in so far. So below us, we have a finished lower level, so a finished walkout basement with more bedrooms, additional bathrooms. Look at these. I love it. This fireplace is super cool too. Now I know some people would want to have the TV in, in a spot where they could see it right from here, but I guess you can still see it from here. Go back there to the primary suite in just a second. Before we do that, I need to show you this. Like, look how big these doors are. So we can open them both up. And I can use one finger and do it. So now we're totally open and you have all this additional seating space. Got a fireplace here, all this stonework. 
And these screens, they're all motorized. So they go up and down with the push of a button. So you don't have to worry about any bugs getting at you. Hang out here on your patio. It's a lanai, that's what it is. All right, let's head over here. Look at this, I, come on, this is amazing. The detail work, that is wood back there. Let's get a close up of that. The finishing work on this house is phenomenal. So you have another balcony here. Jeez, look at this. Linen closet. I like this a lot, how they have the, the tub sort of out here. And then you have the, the pass through here for the shower. You have both the rain shower head and the handheld. Just pass right through. Water closet. And through to the closet closet. And I'm seeing this more and more in houses where the laundry room is somehow attached to the primary suite. Let me know what you think about that. Like, I know some people don't like that. They would rather have it tucked away somewhere else. But I like that you have the option. You can just close this off and lock it, right? And then you just have your laundry room here. And they could, they could finish this off. They could make this just a, uh, just a wall if you wanted to. But it's nice. I think it's great to be able to access it this way. So if we come through here, this is back to the kitchen area. So you have the kitchen and those big windows back there. This is your closet right off from the garage. So when you come in from the garage, you can just go right in here, hang up your stuff, put your boots away. This is a three car garage. It's not small by any means. This is what you would do if you came home. You would come in here, you'd get a little, the drop zone workstation. Kids could work on homework, whatnot, pay some bills. And then the pantry. Plenty of storage, Put stuff up top. Take a closer look at this kitchen here. Well, Thermador appliances, got soft clothes. Now, let's travel below to the basement. I really like the wood wall here. The mixed use of woods. How do you feel about these glass? I, I ask all the time, but how do you feel about the glass here? I have little kids and a dog who would probably like it. So again, this does not feel like a basement at all. I know a lot of people who are not from Michigan are a little leery about basements because they feel like they're going to be in some sort of a dungeon, but that's really not the case here at all. These giant windows that are bigger than most windows that I see in homes that are without a basement. So again, this is an additional 3,000 square foot of finished space down here. You have a total of 3,500 down here, but 3,000 finished. Additional seating space out here. You could put screens down here if you wanted to, too. Additional space. Be an extra bedroom here. And some other bedrooms back here. Another one here. And then we just have storage. Storage galore. We have extra bedrooms here, one here, one over here. An additional full bath. So if you wanted to put a gym down here, you'd have an additional full bath. You could shower off after running on your Peloton. I like these light fixtures and things. Again, like all of the detail work here. You see this stuff? Wine fridge, two of them. Host some parties down here. So what do you think about this place? If you'd like to build something like this, 
let me know. I can help. We'll help you find the land, connect you with the builder, do all the things. And if you're looking for a place to build a house in Metro Detroit, check out some of the other videos and playlists on my channel, and I'll see you there.